Hey there, person who started this video. I hope you're doing fine. Now, I had a bit of a mishap before the last episode and this one, so I'm gonna have to fill you in on what went down. So I got smacked up by some baddies. I smacked up some baddies. I discovered a beautiful tree with a possible sacrificial chamber under it. Um, there was a lot of eye contact in there, by the way. I mean, the, it was very, very appropriate. Everyone was a bit sketch out about where we were so uh we left <laughs> and we also started to air out the mother cardinal's dirty laundry turns out she's hosting pleasure parties in a secret room in her apartments uh specifically in the basement of her apartments meow we acquired this knowledge by dressing up as servants with our nice comfortable vests and she didn't notice a thing uh, as we walked past her several times in order to gain the items necessary to enter the secret room. Hell, she even stopped us midway to give us another mission, which was great. Yeah, we'll take that on. <laughs> Uh, in the secret room, we found a ledger showing us how much funds have been borrowed between Mother Cardinal and this magpie, which was a lot. We also found out that the money is coming from the Mother Cardinal and going towards a special someone known as Candy Cane. Ooh, how sweet. Now, that leaves us to find out exactly what's going on and potentially use this knowledge for good? Eh, maybe? Well, it's time to find out. What's up everyone and welcome back to Melaloo Gaming. This is episode 18 of Greedfall. Um, I'm gonna say 18-ish and uh, the intro would have explained why. <laughs> um, but I think we're just gonna roll right into what's going on here. Let's see if Petrus has to you, say anything child? about what's going on. His presence at the core of the... Nope. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Oh, we will take care, especially after knowing uh, naughty, naughty Mother Cardinal's dirty business. Look at this saucy downstairs. Look at this place. Dirty laundry all over the place. Also, if some beeps came up, uh, that's been happening recently. I have no idea what that is. I'm pretty sure my computer's taken over, by, uh, over the world, and I don't know. It's like Kit. Uh, Night Industries 2000, if, from, uh, the car from Knight Rider, if, if there are people listening who may not know. I'm not old! I'm not old! Alright. Where are we in this quest, actually? It's a side quest? The Vices of Mother Cardinal. Question the Innkeeper. Yes. Let's get it. You know, this should just be a side quest where you go to all the innkeepers and just sit down and listen to some wild business and gossip. I think um, Final Fantasy Tactics had a, a a thing where you would go to the innkeep and then just listen to the rumors that was uh, the rumors of what was going on in the area. I forgot the uh, forgot what it did for you though. It gave you some some sort of information you could use. Is this an inn or is this our residence? It's neither. Um. All right. Where we headed? Where we headed? Gonna go straight, make a right, go through the uh, Hall of Death. What's this? The Magpie. No, we're not gonna go to the Magpie yet. Where for? Oh, okay. So straight, left, left. Let's question prostitutes. Question the bookmaker. Question the innkeep. All in one spot. Oh, I have to, how the Coin Tavern is such a great place to be. Give, give, thank you. It's diplomat and accommodation is. Oh, sweet. Yep. Uh, now, I do need to do some hefty oop, item management at some point. I was going to do it before this episode, but um, pretty much burning daylight pretty quickly tonight. Why do I feel like <laughs> this town's not so intuitive? 
Which is great. I mean, it means it's just kind of like slapped together in, a ha in haste. and I could see that. I could see that being plausible. Also, I could see it just me being... Uh, me and not having the best sense of direction. Oh, all these goods. I'm just doing it for the gold coin. Sure, it's like two, three. Oh, and ammo. Oh, we desperately needed ammo. So, in that last uh, episode where um, uh, I lost the game audio, we could have used uh, a lot of ammo for some of those beasts. And we just kind of hack and slashed our way through. So, Quartermaster Herbert. It's a great name. I don't think we're going to talk to him yet. What do we have here? Looks like a big area, huh? Going to come around, come across. And in the lower floor. Okay, so the lower floor is where the prostitutes and the bookmaker are. So let's find the innkeep. I think we're going to go... Around this way. Do what now? I mean, is it me or did this seem like it didn't go straight outside on the map? Oh, here we go. I wish I could pull up a mini map. It does kind of bug me. And it's, um, I forget the game, but there, um, I mean, I'm sure there's several, but you could pull up the main map and still just kind of move. But this kind of locks you in. In keep, speak and explain your weird actions. Can I get you anything? I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish, what would you like to know? Oh, what won't I? Um, interrogate him on his big clients. No, we're not going to do it. Find out about Candy Cane. What a great name. All right, mention the Mother Cardinal. Do you think that the Mother Cardinal may have ever been here? <laughs> Are you drunk or something? I love non-answers like that. You sometimes deliver goods to your big clients. Isn't that right? Of course. The rich don't like to get drunk among mere mortals. And have you ever supplied anyone from the palace? Yes, that has happened. It suits them. And who places these orders? Well, a steward, of course. Don't you know how things work? A woman? Dressed in a long green cloak? No, the steward is more discreet. On the other hand, the person in the big green coat, the steward speaks to her sometimes. They know each other or work together. What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel. Yes, that's more the kind of place where they'd talk about him. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Ooh. So we've got a male prostitute named Candy Cane. Oh boy. I hope, I so hope he has lines that are just filled with like ridiculous puns dealing with his name i mean it's gonna be like christmas good day welcome you here to wager to fight uh i'm here to ask about candy cane i imagine that the name candy cane rings a bell obviously even though i would prefer it wasn't the case he's a sort of organizer he captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena how is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I can find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. Has the Mother Cardinal ever come here to place bets? 
The Mother Cardinal. And why not Saint Matthias himself while you're at it? I must be going. Next time, then. Okay, so Candy Cane might not be a male prostitute. <laughs> Seems like he's just a fight organizer. And that was just my wishful thinking. But I feel like the, uh, I don't know, I feel like the jury's not out on that one. He could have more than one job, you know? All right. Oh, question the prostitutes. Let's go back in. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. Of that, I can assure you. Okay. Come on. Oh. Feisty. Please let your name be something else than Pimp. So, have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you... I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. Hmm. Hmm. Intuition. Let Petrus intervene. Or pay them. <laughs> we are just way too short to be paying people. Oh, let's wing it. Father, do you want to explain to this man why we are here? Of course. We are not here for your services, but to lead an investigation. Several clients of yours have made a complaint. Precious objects disappearing after your employees' visits. People in very high places are concerned, which explains why we've been asked to take care of it. This cannot be. I... Well, listen. Come in, but please be discreet. Thank you for your cooperation. A dis a discreet? We're definitely discreet. We have commoners' vests. Is that what it was called? I feel like that's what it was. Comfortable. We have comfortable vests on. And where else to feel more comfortable than a brothel? Look, a new face. Oh, but wouldn't that be... Hello, father. I... Uh, oh, hello. Hmm. We would like to know if you know who this earring belongs to. Is it maybe yours? Absolutely not. I am careful not to leave my belongings with clients, and I have no desire to answer your questions. That doesn't fall within my services. Very well. Goodbye. <laughs> well, Father, seems as though you've... Uh incriminated yourself slightly i guess these things just you know they they happen they're normal in uh in san mateus you know it's this kind of thing that goes on it's cool there are too many of you for me alone my little lambs sorry madam but we're here to ask other favors of you this question might seem a little surprising but do you know who this earring might belong to why it's mine i, I lost it when how did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all? No. Do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. What would you like to know? All of it. Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me. But I don't know them. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name. No. The only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. 
Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. Just answer our questions. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal, but I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her, and you don't think you've crossed paths. What a testimony. Ooh, try to learn a bit more about her. Absolutely. Okay, I, I feel like there should be a capital C. Anyway, let it go. Admit it, you must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people, wouldn't you agree? Well, I was able to recognize someone once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance, and you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. I know very well who you're referring to, my dear. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about this other day. All right, talk about the woman in green coat. This woman in the green coat. Could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important, then. It goes into the little office and locks the door. I wonder if... If the woman would be the magpie or the mother cardinal in disguise. Speak about Candy Cane. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person, so his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know. You got it. Doctor patient confidentiality. All right. So, man, that was a lot of info. Um, I, I, I forgot, but I feel like the innkeeper said that there was a man in the green coat. Um, if he's, I wonder if he said that to throw us off, or if he didn't say that and I misheard. I'll definitely find out in editing. Here we go. Question the bookmaker and Sam. I mean, I, th I already did that. Is there anything else that he has to tell us? Good day. Welcome. You here to wait? Um. No. I must be going. Next time. No, it doesn't seem as such. Question the innkeeper. Okay. Um, and then next is the money lender. Can I get you anything? Look who it is. I feel that once again you're not here to support my business. I'm looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before. But I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Question the... Bu I you know what? Maybe we do have to ask about uh, betting, and it's not. I'm thinking that those choices were always there for us to bet, but let's see. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Ah, I did it out of order. I'm looking for someone. A woman wearing a big green coat. Yeah, I know who you mean. She's a good client. She comes in, especially for the big fights, and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. 
Interesting. So, Candy Cane totally is it. rigging. Next time, then. It's totally rigging the fights. And the lady, the mysterious lady in the large green coat. Who knows? She could be uh, two small ladies in a large green coat. By the way, they're making it sound. Let's see. Question the moneylender, the magpie in San Mateus. Come here, bud. All right. Well, now we're going to get there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Absolutely no idea how to get there. <laughs> okay, that's where we're at. I think I could just go through this courtyard. Come across on the other side, cut left. And we should be there in two shakes of a lamb's tail. That's a saying still, right? Whoa. I wonder if the money lender actually just goes by the magpie for everyone. And if this is like a legit business or is this money lender uh Oh, you look you look like you're up to no good. Weapon face covering. It's not cold, look at us. <laughs> We're so comfortable in our comfortable vests. <laughs> Sierra's probably boiling right now with that flaming sword. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I'll get straight to the point. I have bad news for you. I know about the... the decadent parties at the palace. I know that you take part in them. What? But <laughs> what are you talking about? Stop acting all innocent. I have all the evidence I need to incriminate you. Although your reputation isn't spotless, there are others who have a lot more at stake than you. What if I were to spread it around town that you boast about being there? You know what happens when tongues wag too much. That's enough! All right, all right, I'll get the message. What do you want? It would appear that you know the Mother Cardinal very well. I know that she borrowed money from you. I even know how much. What I want to know is why. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you really think that my clients tell me everything about their lives? Does she still owe you money? No, she always pays me back on time, and with interest. Do you think she's plundering the city funds? Ha! If that were the case, the funds would have been depleted long ago. Nah, the money's coming from elsewhere. Tell me about Candy Cane. We're not close, if that's what you want to know. I just know his name, like everyone else. I mean, there are some rumors... They say he does his business in the basement of the Coin Tavern. What kind of business? Oh, nothing to do with my line of business. He deals in arena fights, which would be on me. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. <laughs> I, I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he's just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. Interesting. Is Father Petrus going to start interrogating? <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this marker. Oh man, this game. It's good to be be back playing it. <laughs> it's just so wild. I mean, I, I like really hate to be nitpicky on things like, oh, there's a typo here, or oh, the subtitles are on there. It's, oh, so, ooh, no, 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 no. Let's get out of there. No. Nope. Nope, not dealing with any of that fight. 
Um, yeah, no, I mean, the story's been great so far, and all these side missions are so fun. Like, I really wish I didn't lose all the uh, game audio from the last time I played, because the um, everything that happened that, that led up to this, these moments was just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> In a good way. Um, you know, not the kind of ridiculous where you walk into an alleyway and get stuck in a corner because you don't know where you're going. Is that not where I'm supposed to be? Um, maybe this is an alleyway. Ooh. Candy cane. Where are you, my striped fellow? Candy cane is not here. At least not yet. Remember, my child. The old maker told us that he hangs around here at night. That's true. You're right. Let's come back later. Well, uh... I did not remember that. So, I'm going to bring you guys in when I actually uh, rest up in my residence and travel back over here. Oh, interesting. So, on the way uh, to the residence, we had a letter on our doorstep, and it says, Letter from the Secretary of the Embassy. Your Excellency, a group of natives came by to the embassy and asked to see you. As they could not find you, they asked me to give you the location of a forest where they hope you will meet them. If I may, they seemed relatively agitated and aggressive, so be careful. Yours respectfully. Someone? <laughs> Yours respectfully, the Secretary of the Embassy. <laughs> All right, everyone, it's nighttime, and we are headed back to where Candy Cane should be hanging out. Let's see if he actually made it down here. Oh, that's fight music. That is fight music. We are out of our comfortable vests, and we're ready to do some damage. Hopefully, we can talk our way out of this one, though. Oh. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? Desade, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman, and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble. Leggett or no Leggett. Come on, it was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye, and Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> that was pretty interesting and a, a nice way to end that. I guess it was so uh, that way... Uh, our boy Candy Cane over there. Although I kind of wish he was dressed up in something more uh, whimsical. But <clears throat> be that as it may. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, you know what? This this mission gave me a lot of uh, a lot more respect for Petrus. Uh, I still kind of don't enjoy his principles. I still feel that uh, ugh, he's just. He's just really, really pushing that, that religious thing a little hard on people who don't want it, you know. But he personally hasn't really done it yet. It's really the side that he's associated with. So let's see what he does with this information, the next step to it. Um, I believe our next mission 
our side quest. I think we're going to go with Amongst the Ghosts to talk uh, talk to Kurt about the Ghost Regiment. Um, yeah, because... Yeah, that, that, that came up and seems pretty interesting. Actually, um, a buddy of mine, uh, Valkyrie Gaming, she had mentioned it on Twitter, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, Ghost Regiment. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll hit that next. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. Take care and have a great day.